Contestant number four, Hamoud Khaldi. <laughs> Hamoud Khaldi, contestant number four. My nephew, Mohammed, was born three months premature. And he stayed in the hospital for months. And whenever I visit them, I would see my sister, his mom, would take her fingertip and gently touch the palm of his small, tiny hand, a touch of hope. Mr. Carter's chair, fellow Toastmasters, and our test speaker, Frisia. I loved your speech. That was a heartfelt speech that touched our hearts. Let me tell you why. The first, storytelling. Patricia Fripp said that the essence of public speaking is stories. And what a lovely way to use a personal story to develop your message and give it to us. For example, the, you, the stories of your brother who had dyslexia, the story of you as a medical story, and the stories added genuity, credibility, and authenticity in your speech and bravo. The second tool that Frise used to empower her speech was the use of vivid imagery. What a lovely portrait of sentences we saw in the speech. For example, a brave baby was shivering in my arms. A hand gently touched my father's beautiful bald head. I never knew a bald head can be beautiful. <laughs> my mother gently clutching to my brothers and saying to him, everything will be all right. And that vivid imagery drew the images, drew it was like a movie. We saw your mom, we saw your brother, we saw you. Bravo. The third is the clarity of the message. The message was clear. A simple touch can change the world around us. Seven words. Everybody will remember your speech for days and months to come. And when you have a clear message, you have a beautiful speech. Now, let me add some touches in your speech that can improve it. First, the transition lines and the transitional moves. Your speech was full of beautiful stories that followed each other like the waves, but it missed the transitions, the clear way to go from a story to another. For example, when you explain the story of your brother, you can jump up to the next story by saying, my mom wasn't the only one who had the power of a touch. For example, when I was a medical student, like that, and also using your hands, your body to move to the other story, to the other place. The second is the power of the pause. Pause not, for, not to affect, but to reflect. For example, when you ask the question, when was the last time you touched a loved one? They would allow the audience to think about all their memories about their loved ones. Frisia, that was a beautiful speech, Hearts, heartfelt speech that touched our hearts. Please work and develop your power stories, the vivid imageries, the, the clarity of the message, and just work on in the pause and the transition lines, and your speech will fly colors and touch our hearts. Mr. Khan's chair, would you give me a hand check?